Hey, I'm Greg, your car angel. Uh, welcome to part two of how to avoid buying a lemon. I'm gonna give you some quick and easy tips on how to identify front and rear damage to a used car. Before I go into the actual inspection on this car, I just wanna emphasize why it's important to start at the front of the car uh, when you do your inspection and the reason is is because the front of the car is where most of your critical Components are located on the car including the engine itself. So I always start from the front and move back When I approach a car one of the very first things I look at is the gap alignment and anytime this gap here and there's this gap on this side and of course on the other side you're looking for continuity uh, along that line now in this case you can see that there is a bit of a, a smaller uh, spacing here than there is down here and that right right away tells me something's up but now you can also see that this is loose Okay, so this has been monkeyed with, and I can see it right away, but then I want to kind of look inside the wheel well. So it looks like this has been removed and replaced here. And if I come down here, I can see that they didn't even feed that bolt through the inner liner uh, on the wheel well so all right we know that that has been um, removed at some point so now I want to compare also the the back here and just see um, this all looks pretty tight in other words it looks like it's factory so I'm gonna go to the other side and see how it looks So here I don't see any surprises, but then when I get over here, there's all kinds of surprises. And you can just see how this has been just torn up. Now this is really quite typical of a repair. In other words, they don't take the time to put it all back together really nice. And that makes you question whether they took the time to actually restuff the airbags <laughs> you know you don't want anybody cutting corners and if they're cutting corners on something as simple like this it makes you wonder whether they are truly doing a good job in other areas on the repair so this obviously has been taken off and resprayed now I'm going to show you how to identify a resprayed bumper from a factory bumper sometimes it's not so obvious when a repair was done and uh, I'll show you an area that I I always like to inspect these plastic intakes because these are the areas where bumper repair specialists typically don't take these plastic pieces off they'll just tape them and as you can see down in here you see evidence of a little bit of overspray there so these are the areas right here that I really focus in on, uh, on hard to find repairs. But uh, I'll compare this, by the way, with this side here. I don't have the benefit of the light in there, but you can see, I mean, other than being dirty, that this is a clean line and the other one is not. So sometimes you just have to really look a little bit harder to find uh, repairs so this is all Mickey Mouse stuff right I mean not acceptable especially at a dealership you'd expect to see this kind of stuff maybe at a uh, an auction where some reject car was being put on the block but this car is at a dealership so I want to go to the back of the car and see if the same shoddy workmanship is back there and right away I can tell you that yes shoddy workmanship is everywhere on this bumper um, you have this you, 
can just tell right from looking at the way that these two seams fit together it should be like that but it's not and right away you know something's up you know this this would be a walk away car immediately for me but I just want to try to go through some of the things that I see on this car as being evidence of uh, not only body work but very poor body work so here you can see a flaw there definitely not factory and I can just see basically the evidence that the paintwork on here is is bad here you see uh, this area here just terrible and oh and look at this this is where it really gets exciting now this from the factory would have been a black uh, bumper strip uh, that would be black and this would be the painted surface and in this case they just decided hey they're just gonna paint the whole damn thing and it's it's just a terrible job through and through now why would you avoid a car that's had uh, body work like this done on it and the answer is because there's other cars that you can buy that haven't had body work done on it and uh, you never know the extent of the repair and how good the technician was at repairing all of these things so you just stay away from any cars that have had any body work done on them and when you walk up to a car on the lot you know you want to immediately identify the good cars from the bad cars and this is a bad car uh, what makes this car even worse by the way is this all right so always avoid cars that have aftermarket tow hitches put on it and the reason that you you want to avoid a tow hitch on a car is because normally when they put a tow hitch on a car from the factory it has an upgraded braking system a transmission cooler radiator an oversized alternator uh, you know to accommodate the extra load that is being uh, placed on the car but when you put an aftermarket tow hitch on it you're getting none of that you're just asking the car to do more than it was actually designed to do in this case it's a u-haul trailer hitch and this is clearly aftermarket and uh, it's been used you can tell it's it's been used a lot so this car has had extra wear and tear and it's evident right here so now that I've identified this bumper as being resprayed what I want to do is check out to see how bad the damage was right right now we just know that it was resprayed and it could be anything from a garage door hitting this part of the bumper to a complete uh, rear end severe accident so in order to know that um, I'm going to take my paint spy okay and I'm going to check each individual panel so I know that I know that this panel has been repainted of course I know that also from this little area there where the uh, taping was but I want to check the rear hatch just to see what's happening here and I'm definitely getting repaint there repaint there this whole hatch has been repainted but I really want to check out where ground zero is and wow look at that that's all bondo nothing getting no adhesion with the magnet here I'm getting a little bit a little bit more and a little bit more but it's still still coming up repaint um, so this entire rear hatch has been damaged and just tons of bondo right in here I mean you can kind of see the the unevenness of this whole thing but really it's the paint spy that's showing me exactly where the damage is so this car has just been trashed and obviously I would not recommend this car uh, for any of my clients but that's the beauty of checking uh, the 
front and rear bumpers, right away you can detect very easily if a car has been in a previous accident. And if the bumpers have been resprayed, then obviously you've got to keep going forward with the inspection and identify how deep the damage was. And in this case, we have lots of Bondo, just lots of, you know, bad, bad body work here. And this is just going to be a mess in just a very short time. So what's going to happen, by the way, is, you know, even though the paint on first glance may look, you know, pretty good, uh, this surface is going to wear much, much uh, quicker than the paint that's been applied from the factory on other parts of the car. Oh, look at that. Just saw that. <laughs> Amazing. You know, what a... This car has been through the ringer. But at any rate, what's going to happen with this painted surface is that this is going to dull, peel, flake, and ultimately just deteriorate much quicker than the rest of the car. Probably a short three or four years from now, this surface is going to be in terrible shape and the rest of the car is going to look fairly good. And uh, the problem is, is that uh, whoever takes ownership of this car is going to have to pay the price on that. And there's no need to be dealing with any of that if you get a car that has all factory paint on it, including on the bumpers. And that is why I stay away from cars that have had resprayed bumpers. It's just not worth the investment of buying an inferior car with inferior paint and inferior quality with, you know, shoddy workmanship. It's just not worth it. Stay with factory cars all the way. So that's the quick read on front and rear bumpers. I'm Greg, your car angel. Thanks for watching this video. Um, stick around for part three of how to avoid buying a lemon. Uh, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.